In this challenge review, we're going to make the skeleton face us when he attacks. To do this, I'm going to open up my skeleton script. Here, inside our movement code, we're detecting the direction. And what we want to do here is basically say, inside our direction here, we just want to check. It's simple. If the direction dot x is greater than 0, then we need to say face right. Else, if the direction dot x is less than 0, we need to face left. We need to basically take our sprite and flip it. So here we have face left. Now, what's important too is we only want to do this if we're in combat. So here, if direction dot x is greater than 0, and then we're going to say in combat is, tr is equal to true. Now, instead of in combat, we can also do is hit. So here, when you hit the player, you're going to instantly turn. So here, if direction.x is greater than 0, what we can say here is, and actually, you know what? We do want to actually do it when we're in combat specifically. So that way, we stay that way. So here, if direction.x is greater than 0, we're going to go ahead and say, and anim dot get bool and the bool that is in combat using quotes you'll see here in the tooltip it says string name in combat and you can you can check if it's you can compare it to true so here if direction.x is greater than 0 and we're in combat this means that no matter what you, no matter where you are in combat if you go on the left or right side of the enemy he's going to follow us he's going to flip his sprite so here we want to then say sprite dot flip x equals false for the right and then here we're going to do the same thing so if it's less than zero and it's in combat so anim dot get bool and we'll say in combat then what do we want to do we want to say sprite dot flip x equals true and that's for left Let's save this. Let's head back into Unity and test it out. Going to hop back over to our enemy here. And let's go ahead and attack it once it starts moving. And then it should attack. And if I switch sides, you'll see here it followed me. And there we go. And if I go away, it goes back to normal. If we come back, I'm going to hit it from the back. And it should turn around. And there we go. And now it's going to attack. In the next video, we're going to set up its hitbox together.